My name is Kenny Powers and I drive for Dodge City Express. Thank you for watching this video. I'm going to attempt to show you how to take care and load and unload a hopper and everything that goes with it. So I'll just take you through a little bit of a tour here. Um, watch the mud hole here. So this is the hopper and this is your ladder. And over here is where your catwalk is, where you can stand. And uh, up there is your handrails to get up in the trailer to stand up and look. Sometimes you end up having to go in the hopper by hauling big rocks. Um, sometimes they dump them on the edges. And uh, what you do there is you rake them off. You get in the hopper with on top of the rocks. You rake them off or you can do it with a broom. You don't want to cut the tarp and it might cut the tarp, those rocks, if you tarp it shut, if it gets caught under there. All right. Now under here you can see we got the fifth wheel set to the front. It's set all the way to the front. And uh, we're about 13,000 on the steers and about 12,000 or 33,000 on the uh, drives is what what rides pretty good and what the boss wants. So on the hopper rails right here and here they're on all four sides. If uh, when you crank it here you got your your high speed. Let's see which one is it. Yeah that's the high speed. I think that's your low that's your uh, low speed right there. This is the high speed. This one will crank hard. Um, so just switch to the other one and then it'll crank easy. If it, depending on what's in there. Now when you hit on these rails, don't hit the hopper itself. Hit right in along here with, with the hammer. And you use a uh, dead blow hammer. Don't use steel on aluminum that will obviously tear up the aluminum and uh, I'll get the hand crank out here I'll keep my crank in the side box okay these are not cheap so we don't just leave them laying around everywhere okay you put it, you take it off, you put it back in your side box. You don't leave it lay anywhere. It's going to be fun cranking the hopper open with a wrench, okay? <laughs> and so, you just put your crank here, and then you loosen that, and then you crank it open. It'll unload. Now, the track for the, the door is on the back here, which means it's going to open from the front. So when you unload this front hopper, you're going to want to make sure that you start with the gate on the ground where the, the floor, you know, to unload right even with that. Now with the back hopper, it's the opposite. The track opens to the front, which means you will want to start the back edge of that, that grade on the floor where the grain goes down to the back, because it'll go back forward. So it's just some tips on how to do that. Now when you open up the gate, nothing happens sometimes so we have what we call vibrators right here this one runs the front one and this one runs the back one okay so you open up your gate nothing happens right no panic you get this vibrator you get your dead blow hammer you tap on that rail Hit it pretty good, it should start coming out. 99% of the time it will. 
Also, I wanted to show you the, the weight gauge under here. This one, for some special reason, is turned sideways. This is your weight gauge, which we are at 60. right around 60, 61. That's your dump valve for the trailer. Now, when we are unloading, say, Milo or corn, something that comes out real fast, dump that valve on the back of the trailer is it, it can blow an airbag. So that's what we do with that. So um, pretty much, it's pretty straightforward. That's your vibrators down here on, on the hopper on the bottom. They work pretty, they're pretty nice. Um, they work pretty smooth. So I'll come back here and I'll show you how to crank the tarp. Can you get a close-up of that tarp over there? His handle is turned down. So if you notice, the handle is turned down. The problem with this is, if he blows a tire, it'll rip that handle off. Then you'll have to crank the tarp with a pipe wrench. That won't be very fun. So let me show you what, what you can do. notice this one is turned up so how do you do that that pin up there at the top there's a pin there that comes out and you slide your uh, that out you turn it half a turn and you put it back on and you put that pin back in and you're good to go that way you don't lose you know, your handle if you would happen to blow a tire. Now, we keep the tarp shut if after we wash out a trailer and leave the gates open in the bottom. Air will go in there and circulate around and dry the inside of the trailer, the hopper. We really don't too often want to go down the road with the tarp open. The wind can catch it, it can rip it off. It's just, that's good practice to keep your tarp shut where possible. So anyway, that's some basics on pulling the hopper. <coughs> and uh, thank you for watching. All right, God bless.